Tomorrow will be a sad and somber day for New York. New York City firefighter Michael Davidson will be laid to rest. His funeral will be held at St. Patrick's Cathedral here in Manhattan Tuesday morning at 10. Davidson was a member of Engine Company 69, and he's being hailed as a hero after being killed Thursday night in Harlem while fighting a five-alarm fire. During the fire, Davidson became separated from the other firefighters who were battling the blaze. The fire was in the basement of St. Nick's Jazz Pub on St. Nicholas Avenue near 148th Street. A building with a storied past, the location was being used as a set for the upcoming film Motherless Brooklyn, starring Ed Norton and Bruce Willis. Norton is also directing the film. Today, the building's demolition began. Davidson was found unconscious and was pulled from the scene. He later died at the hospital. A 15-year veteran of the department, Davidson had been cited for bravery and life-saving actions on four different occasions. For the past two days, crowds of mourners have attended his wake in Floral Park, Long Island, his hometown. On Saturday, Mayor de Blasio and Fire Commissioner Nigro posthumously promoted Davidson to lieutenant. He is survived by his wife Eileen and their four children, three girls and a boy, whose ages range from seven to one. Lieutenant Davidson's father, Robert, was a firefighter for 26 years, serving mainly at Engine Company 69, the same firehouse where Michael was serving. Davidson's brother, Eric, is also with the FDNY at Engine Company 88 in the Bronx. The AFT, the NYPD, and the City Buildings Department are all investigating, and fire marshals are also trying to determine the cause of the blaze. The FDNY Foundation has set up a fund to benefit the Davidson children, and the New York Police and Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund has promised to provide financial support as well. In addition, the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation has pledged $100,000 to help pay off the family's mortgage. Our condolences to the entire Davidson family and to all of New York's bravest.